Okay, what if you want to save that vector for use later on? Um, any vector for that matter. So let's say I want to go back and save this original one as uh, in memory. So I hit, I bring it to the stack or whatever you want to call it, hit store, and you're limited to what you can store it into. So I'm going to hit this vars button just to show you. If it's a complex number, your only choices are Z0 through Z9. You can type that or you can just pick it from this list. So I'm going to store that into Z1. Hit enter. So now the calculator knows that Z1, if I type a Z1, I actually mean that vector. So I could do that for Z1. Let's do one more. I could do this one as Z2, so store it. I could type Z2, which is probably quicker. So Z2, hit enter. And then I could do Z1 plus Z2, for example, and get my result. And again, if I want to convert that to polar, I just hit shift and the angle, and it'll, it'll convert that for me. So really powerful. Uh, the only problem is if you start getting into 3D vectors, there is no complex number analog for that. So you would be forced to use the vector functions and maybe getting into some programming. But most of mechanical engineering and physics is in two dimensions, thankfully. Uh, at least in, the, in uh, school, not in the real world. Okay, later.